your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. All in all, not much to worry about in today's forecast, but your first alert highlights the wind box here in orange as gusts will be on the stronger side, especially considering the time of year to get to 30, 40 mile per hour wind gusts is not very common during the month of June, but today is one of those days. Now starting off with lighter winds than that. Now the sun is up and so those winds will start to increase and see the flags here on our Dubuque City Cam showing a little bit of motion at this point. Officially observations at this hour between 5 to 15 miles per hour, but those will steadily increase. And we'll also see our temperatures steadily increase for the morning starting off in the upper 50s to low 60s but they'll be warming in a pretty big, decent hurry now that the sun is up but those winds out the west northwest as we go through the day will be tempering those highs just a bit likely falling short of yesterday's readings by a few degrees the wind speeds though by this afternoon 30 to 40 miles per hour it's that noon to six time period where they'll be at their strongest and by later this evening as we get closer to sunset and beyond things turn much lighter and so tonight we'll actually see a pretty similar night with temperatures that will turn into the 50s and those winds that stay fairly calm too. Now pinpoint future cast otherwise starting back this morning keeps us sunny. We're going to keep those sunny skies around for most of the day. It's this afternoon we start to see a few clouds enter our northern zones. Areas along and north of Highway 20 most likely to see this cloud activity. To the south there could be some, but less and less the farther southwest that you go. And then as we head towards night, clear skies likely to be with us too. And those winds again turning light and starting light for your Friday. First alert forecast for today, temperatures in the 70s or even close to 80, so it'll be 73 in Dubuque, 70 in Decorah, coolest in the northeast, but 80 toward Washington and Mount Pleasant. Winds will be out of the northwesterly direction. Again, all tending to keep us a little bit cooler than we otherwise might be. Now, as we pick things up again tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock here on Pinpoint Futurecast, we'll have a little bit of cloud cover here, and then we'll see a general trend toward cloudier conditions as we head toward Friday night. That does come with an area of showers and maybe an embedded storm, too, by Friday night into early Saturday morning. So you may wake up to the chance for some showers and storms then. They'll be scattered, but your first alert the potential for a wet start to the weekend before things turn drier again later in the day on Saturday with highs in the 70s and Sunday a repeat there too without that storm chance in the morning. So it looks like a really nice weekend overall with comfortable temperatures. Now overnight lows will be in the 50s during that same time period and we'll keep the 70s going into the early portion of next week. But after a storm chance on Tuesday, which at this point uh, shower and storm chance that is, it looks fairly slim. We will have a pretty decent warm up underway by late next week. Upper 80s a possibility by next Friday. Your weather-wise question for today, about what percentage of the month of June is spent with winds above 20 miles per hour? It's only about 2.5%, 7.5%, 15%, or 25% of all the time. We're going to do feels, it today. Yeah, and it feels like it's windy here somewhat often mm -hmm. in Iowa. I'm going to go, let's say 15% of the month. Uh, believe it or not, in June, it's only two and a half percent. So compare that to April, which we certainly, we all agree. April, ridiculously <laughs> windy, it seems like, all the time. Yeah. It's only about 11 or 12 percent then. So it is still uncommon to get winds that strong, but it's way less common during the summer, and it gets even less as we had later in the summer. Yeah, so kind of unusual today, but at least it'll be warm. Yep, and just one day, too. Right, we can deal with it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Corey. Yep.